Hey everyone, it's Brad here with alt -N. In a recent video and blog post, I talked about a backscatter protection in M. Damon. Talked about backscatter and what it is, what causes it, and how to enable the backscatter protection feature in M. Damon. So if you'd like a refresher on backscatter protection and how to uh, configure backscatter protection in M. Damon, if you go to our blog at altn.com, and uh, scroll down a couple of, of posts ago, um, a recent post explains that and there's a video that goes along with it as well. And today, uh, in today's post, I am going to uh, focus on backscatter protection in Security Gateway. First, a little bit of a uh, review. So what is backscatter? Well, let's say a, a spammer it wants to send, send out uh, thousands of spam messages and they want to cover their tracks. So what they do is they forge the return path in these spam messages. Now, if that forged address in the return path happens to be your email address, then you could get bounce back messages out, out of office autoresponders or non-delivery report messages in response to that spam message, which you never sent in the first place. So that's known as backscatter. Backscatter protection works by inserting a series of characters or a special backscatter protection key into the return path of all outbound mail. When the mail server receives a bounce back response, it looks for that special key in the return path. If the key is not there, then we know that the uh, bounce back message is being sent back in response to a, a message that had a forged return path. In other words, we know that the message is backscatter and can be uh, discarded accordingly. So I'm going to uh, explain how to set this up now in Security Gateway. And the way we access the uh, backscatter protection configuration screen is we go down here in the left hand uh, uh, control panel area of Security Gateway, and we go to the Security tab, and then toward the top in the first section, we click on Backscatter Protection located right here. Okay? First thing we need to do is simply check this box to enable Backscatter Protection. And before we do anything else on this screen, uh, we can go ahead and save our changes because I have a I'd like to explain a few things uh, But I wanted to go ahead and save my progress um, first so For the next Approximately seven days you'll want to leave this box unchecked this second box reject messages that failed backscatter protection verification and that's because during the first few days your users may receive bounce back messages uh, legitimate bounce back messages in response to messages that they actually sent. Now, since uh, backscatter protection was not previously enabled over the past few days, then those bounce back messages will not have the special backscatter protection key in the return path. And we don't want to necessarily reject them yet because they might be legitimate. So wait a few days and then check this box to reject messages that fail backscatter protection verification. Now, you have a couple of more options in Security Gateway. You have an option to create a new backscatter protection encryption key every uh, at regular intervals. The default is every 30 days. And you have the option to retain your previous backscatter protection key for a certain number of days. The average is seven days. That way, if Security Gateway automatically creates a new backscatter protection key every 30 days, then messages that were signed with the previous backscatter protection key will not be rejected uh, during this time frame here, in this case, seven days. You do have the option to configure exclusions. So if these three checkboxes here at the bottom allow you to exclude messages from globally whitelisted IP addresses and hosts. You can exclude messages from authenticated sessions or messages from your domain mail servers. So again, just to recap, this is just the uh, the way you configure backscatter protection in Security Gateway so that your users do not receive bounce back messages in response to messages that they did not send in the first place. This topic has come up a time or two in our community forums, so uh, I, I know that there probably are uh, quite a few people out there who may not be aware of exactly what backscatter uh, is 
and can, uh, consequently what, back, what backscatter protection is. So hopefully this will help a few more people uh, and help them uh, configure their server appropriately so that they can stop receiving backscatter. So that's your, uh, that's your tip of the day, and uh, I hope you uh, learned a thing or two, and we'll see you next time.